Charlie, welcome to Sheffield United. How much are you looking forward to this opportunity? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, no, I'm delighted to, to be here. You know, it's a, it's a massive club to be joining. And uh, I've kept a close eye over recent weeks and uh, I'm really, really excited to be here. And you beat the deadline and comfortably, although it is the last day, so that's obviously a bit of a relief for you as well. Yeah, do you know what? It's not actually my first experience with deadline day, so um, this one's a lot earlier than my, my last one. But um, yeah, no, I'm just happy to get it sorted. I'd imagine there'd be a few teams interested in you, so why Sheffield United? Yeah, of course, you know, I'm a, I'm a player that is desperate to play. I love playing week in, week out, and um, I wanted to come here and be a part of it. You know, I've been watching, as I said, uh, from the outside over recent weeks and um, with the games in hand and where they're positioned in the league, there's no reason why we can't fly up that league and um, I want to be a part of that. You mentioned a bit about the club there. What else do you know about the team, the squad and the players that you'll be playing alongside? Listen, as, an, as I said, as an outsider, you only have to look at Sheffield United over the last few years, the success they've had. Um, the squad's very similar to the Premier League squad that was sort of doing so well over the last few years, you know, so you've only got to look at that and, and see, see the quality that we have amongst us and um, yeah, I just really want to be a part of that. How do you think your attributes will tail you to fitting into this side? Yeah, I hope they'll, hope they'll really work. Um, I'm an aggressive defender, maybe slightly old-fashioned, and um, like to get stuck in, I give 100%, you know, and um, bringing the ball out from the back um, is a part of my game and um, try and make things happen. So, um, yeah, it's the one thing you can guarantee that is I'll leave everything out there. There's good competition here, as I'm sure you'll know, and I'm sure that's what you want coming into a side as well. A couple of clean sheets recently, so it'll be tough to break into the side, won't it? Yeah, of course. You know, when there's a team that's doing well, um, it's always going to be hard. I'm not expected just to be thrown straight in, but um, I'm a player that's desperate to play and I've come here to play, so I want to I try and uh, get my shirt and, and, and keep it. How much are you looking forward to playing under Paul Heckingbottom? Yeah, very much so. Um, had some good conversations with him. Uh, I know Stuart McCall as well used to work with him, so um, it's quite nice to know that. And um, yeah, as I say, uh, everything's been very positive so far and um, can't wait to get started. Knowing what Stuart's about, obviously that gives you a good indication of what you can expect in training as well. Yeah, yeah, great great personality. I really, really enjoyed my time working with him and, and stayed in touch even when we uh, when, when I left. So, um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm excited to be back be back with him and, of course, with Jaffa as well and um, hopefully it's a, it's a good match. You've had some Premier League experience this season. How was that for you at Brentford? Yeah, no, listen, it was uh, from where I've come from, you know, it's... Um, so it was a special moment. Uh, I was unf unfortunate to pick up an injury that sort of stopped my run in the side. Um, but it got to this stage, and I'm desperate to play. So if I wasn't guaranteed it there, I wanted to I wanted to come and play. So um, that's the reason I left. But um, I'll be keeping an eye on them in the Premier League and hope they do a good job. And how do you see this move for you? Is it the case at the moment just getting some game time and, and get back in the park again? Yeah, like you say, um, I was enjoying a good spell just before Christmas, um, and I was unfortunate that that come to an end. Um, but if I'm not playing, I want to go and play. I'm, I'm that kind of player. I'm not going to sit just because the Premier League team and, and sit and just be happy in the background. I want to come and be a part of something. Um, and looking at this, it's, it looks perfect for me and I, I can't wait to get started. Looks like you've come at a good time with the amount of games coming up, a lot of rearranged fixtures. I would imagine the manager might have to use his squad quite a lot. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's going to be very demanding. Um, Saturday, Tuesday for, I think, a number of weeks coming up. Um, and the Championship's one of the hardest leagues. You know, Every single game's tough. So, um, Everyone's going to be needed, and um, if we can string a good few results together, we can fly out that league. And you were part of that Brentford side that did so well in the Championship and got up through the playoffs, so you know what it takes in this division. Yeah, definitely. I think, obviously, with COVID the last couple of years, the schedule has been, as I say, very demanding, um, and it's, it's no different now. I know Sheffield United have had many games called off because of that, and they've been sort of put in a very short period of time. So if you can go on a good run during that time, then it's a perfect way to pick up loads of points. A away game coming up against Birmingham on Friday, but then the opportunity maybe to, to play in front of the fans at Bramall Lane. How much are you looking forward to that prospect? Yeah, um, I've played, played at Bramall Lane a couple of times and the atmosphere is, is, is unbelievable, you know. So um, I can't wait to, to, to step out there and hopefully uh, the fans can really take to me and um, I'll try and uh, perform as well as I can.